This Is Us fans, Milo Ventimiglia's new TV show character is nothing like Jack Pearson, plus other This Is Us news. It didn't take long for Jack Pearson to steal our hearts. His death was probably the most heartbreaking scene in the entire show, and to think of Milo Ventimiglia as anyone else than Jack is hard to imagine. So is this really the end of This Is Us? What is Milo Ventimiglia's new TV show about? Stay tuned, you're about to find out in this video. Let's start with why there won't be a season 7 of This Is Us. This Is Us has been the show we don't remember asking for, but ever since we got it back in 2016, it's hard to imagine a life without the Pearsons. It has given us an open and unique insight into familial tragedy, let us share in the joy of little moments, and taught us what it means to be a family when everyone has their own path to follow. Creator Dan Fogelman has gently reminded us for years that this might be the show's stopping point, and we've had since May 2021 to prepare ourselves emotionally. There won't be a season 7 of This Is Us, and there's no chance of spin-offs. Despite being approached by 20th Television, the production company behind the show, Fogelman gave them a hard no. He always knew where the show was going. As he told Deadline, I knew what the ending of this season was going to be be from the moment we put pen to paper, not just at the beginning of this season, but while working on previous seasons. He continues that the end of the season will give us closure. The stories of the characters will have been told. We wonder if that will make it less painful to have to say goodbye before we're ready. Next, This Is Us creator, writer, and cast on emotional season 6 Thanksgiving scene. Thanksgiving in the Pearson house. What more is there to say? But this one, the last one, was by far are the most powerful, in part because the episode's writers, both Dan Fogelman and Laura Kenner, drew from personal experience, and the entire team of writers was involved with its development. And the other big part was because of Mandy Moore's incredible performance. Fogelman lost his mom quickly and unexpectedly, but sometimes tried to imagine what it would have been like if he had lost her from a long, protracted illness, which is what he thinks he drew from a little bit. On the other hand, Kenner grew up with a grandfather who had Alzheimer's and witnessed how overwhelming it can be to take care of someone with the disease. The scene was talked about extensively, and they knew from the beginning it was going to be a long one, seven of the 42 minutes. And though Moore was nervous to take on this huge, four-page Braveheart speech, she took everyone's breath away, so much so that a camera operator, James Takata, wrote Fogelman a note about how he had never in his entire career felt such a connection with an actor as he had with Mandy Moore for the monologue scene. Having portrayed Rebecca from ages 8 to 80, there is no one that she didn't impress, and we will miss her very, very much. And now, what are some theories about how This Is Us is going to end? Honestly, we don't even want to think about it. What will we do once it's all over, after the finale airs on May 24th? But there's no way around it. We better start preparing for the last episode of This Is Us. And what better way than to try and guess how it will all end? Divorce happens in life more often than it doesn't, and it hasn't happened on the show yet. They've always had some differences, and with the recent escalation of their troubles, it really looks like there won't be a happily ever after after all. They've been through a lot together and survived thus far, but with Toby's lying and the fact that he left her hanging during some really important moments in her life, fans do feel like Kate deserves better. But will she get what she deserves? Some say Kate will remarry Philip, but there is some evidence that points to her dying, and chances are we'll have to deal with the tragic death of Miguel as well. He wasn't on Rebecca's side on her deathbed, so it's possible that's because he isn't around anymore. In the same scene, we saw Nikki, who looks like he finally got his life together. Randall just might actually change the world and become president. And we all hope that Kevin will finally marry someone as well. And we're guessing it's going to surprise us no matter what we come up with. What do you think? Hopefully, we'll have enough time to prepare for the end of This Is Us. 
If not, we're glad that there's already something to look forward to. What is this new TV show that Milo Ventimiglia is starring in? Will it be much different than This Is Us? Next up in this video. But first, here are some things you didn't know about This Is Us. To soften the blow, or make it worse, that will be the end of This Is Us. Here are some things you didn't know about the show. Did you know that Dan Fogelman originally imagines This Is Us as a movie? We're sure it would have been great, but we're very lucky the plans were changed. Milo Ventimiglia isn't just a father figure on screen. He told The Hollywood Reporter, Ventimiglia studied the call sheet on every shoot day, so he would know everyone's name. And when the cast returned for the second season, he welcomed them with trucker hats, featuring the logo of Big Three Homes, Jack's dream construction company. The biggest shock might be that Mandy Moore is actually younger than the people who play her children on the show. In fact, she is the youngest of the entire cast, which is even more impressive, as she's the one whose age is shown in the widest range and portrayed all by her alone. Despite that, just like Ventimiglia was the father figure, Moore was definitely the mother figure, and both were very protective of not just the cast, but the entire crew, which isn't too weird, because it has been a very special group. Together, they managed to break the network TV curse at award shows, cable shows not quite being able to compete with streaming platforms. This Is Us had the first network drama victory since Grey's Anatomy in 2007 at the SAG Awards. Does it really have to end? And now, what is this new ABC drama? Unfortunately, yes, This Is Us will have to end, even if we're not ready to say goodbye. But for all the Milo Ventimiglia fans out there, that doesn't mean saying goodbye to the actor. One of the shows that have been picked up by ABC for a pilot this season is the drama The Company You Keep, and it has been confirmed that Ventimiglia will be taking up a role in the show. The Company You Keep is based on Korean format My Fellow Citizens, which ran for 36 episodes. The script has been buzzed about for a few months now, and expectations are high, mainly because of all the great people set to work on the show. Aside from starring, Ventimiglia will also be executive producing via Divide Pictures, his film and television entertainment production company, alongside Russ Cundiff with Dean Harris as producer. The show hails from Julia Cohen, best known for A Million Little Things, and will be executive producing and writing. Moreover, Crazy Rich Asians and In the Heights director John M. Chu will also be executive producing, together with Caitlin Foydum, Ton Harthen, and Lindsay Goffman. With all these big names, the company you keep is promising to be a good one. It is unknown yet when it's going to be aired, so we'll have to be a little patient to see if it's going to keep that promise. Lastly, what is the company you keep about? The company you keep will be based on the Korean My Fellow Citizens, a comedy crime drama about a con man who unknowingly marries a police officer and ends up running for the National Assembly. How much will the Hollywood adaptation lean on the original show? Well, the official logline tells us that the company you keep will be about con man Charlie, played by Ventimiglia, who falls in love with an undercover CIA officer, Emma, after a night of passion. They're painfully unaware of it, but they're on a collision course professionally. Charlie is ramping up the family business in hopes of getting out for good, and Emma is closing in on the vengeful criminal who holds Charlie's family's debts in their hands. In order to save themselves and their families from disastrous consequences, they're forced to reckon with the lies they've told. Now, there is no way you can compare Charlie, a con man who lies to his wife, to our hero who runs into burning houses to save a dog, Jack Pearson. It's going to take a second to get used to seeing Milo Ventimiglia in such a different role, but it is Milo Ventimiglia we're talking about here. It doesn't really matter who he portrays and what kind of trouble his characters may get. Get it. We'll love him no matter what. And that's it. We're very sorry to see This Is Us ending, but we're very excited for the company you keep to be released. What do you think? Let us know in the comments, and thanks for watching.